Hey everybody, I um, want to do another episode of Finding Time here. This one is going to be about the October 20th Pure Track. Um, it was a pretty interesting, uh, interesting day. Uh, there were two places that I found most people could save time, and I'm going to go over them both here. Uh, I'm going to leave the, the map not zoomed in today, uh, just to make it uh, kind of a little bit easier where things were. Um, so it starts with a drag start here and a turnaround. Um, and what I noticed is this next section right here. So I'm going to actually um, merge these. Oops. And the end of the corner was right about here. So we'll call it sector two. And this was a very challenging section in that uh, it's, it's very hard to see exactly where it goes um, you know you got to set up to the right and you know it kind of opens up but it's not it's not quite clear um, especially the way it's coned and uh, I, I noticed a lot of people um, weren't getting on the power and staying on the power so uh, coming through this section here uh, you're coming through a gate and um, basically let me zoom in now so everyone was uh, was focused on turning around the next cone and there was a cone right about here where the plus sign is, and it wasn't getting backsided. So the ability to backside this this cone right here, uh, and then stay on the power, in this case, uh, this was a, just a veloster, but um, it was a significant area where people could stay on the power. And this was consistent across um, rear wheel drive platforms, front wheel drive pat platforms, fast cars, slow cars, uh, this ability to really uh, stay on the power here. And as we go through the course, uh, most people were, were fairly similar. And then this next section here, so this back section along the back side of the course, uh, all the way down into this turn, which was just super tight. So this whole section right here was another one that, um, that people had a hard time with. Uh, for the most part, uh, right on the entrance, you can see people uh, didn't slow down enough and ran wide. And because they were running wide, they weren't able to stay to the right. And if you weren't able to stay to the right, then you weren't able to get to the left. So most people were chasing themselves all the way down here. And the big part was not necessarily the beginning, although the beginning was important to be able to get to the right. But it was this next fast section right here. So this whole area, in this case, I was able to stay on the power in, in uh, you know, quite early on some of the more powerful cars, uh, this short scoot even right here was another opportunity to add a lot more power. Um, and then it just shut down into a really hard turn for the finish. Uh, so uh, the lesson for this course was to go fast in the fast sections. And on the really easy ones, like the sweeper turn here, I think most people were on the limit and, and doing well, but getting up the speed enough early to, to get turned in, to set up right, uh, again, was another another section where where people were able to um, uh, find a lot of time, and again, you know, um, the way it's coned out, coned on both sides about equal length. You know, the the only way to get up to the left here and get set up was to to backside this first um, first um, curbing, and then get your eyes up to the left and resist looking at like this curbing right here, which is on the apex. Because um, if your eyes got right, you drove right instead of lining up left to turn right. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, these two times, in this case, it was nine tenths here and six tenths in this section, so about one and a half seconds um, that this driver was actually able to pick up. So, um, you know, find those fast sections during your course walks or looking at the map and make sure that you have a plan uh, to take advantage of them. Uh, also, on your first lap, you know, um, going fast in the fast sections is, is something you can do because it, it deals with corner exit, getting a good exit, keeping car in the right position, and you can do that really aggressively and then just maybe give it up a little bit early for the corner entries uh, with the cold tires, and you should be able to find success. Thanks.